That's a lot to take in, isn't it? Well, I stopped trying to make sense of all this around the time that you started teleporting. Yeah, still trying to figure that one out myself. I think we're ready. Wait, we're actually gonna run this thing? Really? Are you sure that it... This isn't exactly an easy bake oven. Maybe we should start by finding the instruction manual? Probably not, which is all the more reason to avoid this. I mean, have you ever seen the movie The Fly? I do not want to be the Jeff Goldblum of this story. I can't activate the core till it's reset. No, nothing I can make sense of. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here, according to the monitor. This is gonna work. 
It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine, are you? So, I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jerry-rigged this entire thing together? Because I think I literally see duct tape. Okay, no, this is a great idea. Yeah, no way that this is gonna backfire. Don't worry. We'll get this working. Core. Wait, Monarch said what they stole from the university was some kind of core. It's... The core for a time machine. We're not the only ones who have one. Christ. What are they planning to do with it? Serene's plans are focused on the future, not the past. But to succeed, he needs absolute control. A time machine is control. Well, there's a line between control and playing God, and this crosses it by a long shot. This is insane. That's a lot to take in, isn't it? Well, I stopped trying to make sense of all this around the time that you started teleporting. Yeah, still trying to figure that one out myself. I think we're ready. Wait, we're actually gonna run this thing? Really? Are you sure that it... This isn't exactly an easy bake oven. Maybe we should start by finding the instruction manual? You honestly think that's gonna help? Probably not, which is all the more reason to avoid this. I mean, have you ever seen the movie The Fly? I do not want to be the Jeff Goldblum of this story. Here goes nothing. should be exposed like that. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its existence shortly after it was completed. In 1999. 1999. They believe it was destroyed shortly after. I imagine Will wanted to keep it that way. There's a light blinking here. Might be what you're looking for. The schematics for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. Damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. 
You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. 
Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon research department after Dr. Kim's accident. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon syndrome. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. We should go. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Paul, what should we do about Joyce? Just thinking about a road trip I took a long time ago. In a car far less comfortable than this. Let's focus on the issue at hand. Shh. This asshole don't look like much. Tell that to all the guys he wasted. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah.
come sooner than I've seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched, like you've seen too much. All of it blending into one, apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I, 11 or 12 years old, when we found that vagrant, remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race at this point. They're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice? Well, we refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate. I'll be here. Oh! 
fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards.